another video. It's your girl, Shaded by Jade. I look a mess right now, y'all. I just got out of the shower. But if you're new here, welcome. I'm Jade. I'm so happy to have you here. So in this vlog today, I'm just going to be doing errands, really. I'm going to go shopping with Ashley. And I'm going to go to the CB2 store because they just opened one up in Atlanta. We're going to go to, of course, Zara. Duh. And take some pictures today because I gotta take pictures. Y'all, my YouTube plaque came, oh my God. I'ma show y'all at, at the end of this video or sometime in this video. But I just got the shower, brush my teeth, all that. I just need to use some mouthwash real quick. Y'all, they are always sold out of this color. Like, I've been using this for almost a year now. Ridiculous, but hold on. <clears throat> That's one thing that makes me feel like a bad bitch. Like, having good breath, good hygiene, smelling good, like, yes. Let me put some of this on my lips, but Y'all, I don't know if y'all, I told y'all, I'm pretty sure I did already. I'm so mad that I might have to get braces again because I didn't wear my retainers for a few months now and my bottom teeth are shifting. And he don't have the impressions of my bottom teeth, which is just, whatever. Anyways, look at my robe, y'all. I got this robe from Amazon. Super cute, luxury feeling, spa feeling. They have other colors. I wanted to try something different other than white because I get white in everything. Um, I got a lot of stuff from Amazon, so I'm going to show y'all some of the stuff. Like I said, I got this from Amazon. But yeah, so I am just like on this journey, y'all, where I just want to be more feminine. Like, do y'all ever feel like that? Like, I just want to be more feminine. Like, I really want to try my best, you know, to limit the cussing. Um, and I had seen Aaliyah's face talk about this in like one of her videos, which is so true. The older you get, like, you know, certain things you just want to change about yourself. Like, you're evolving. And, I mean, I'm not going to promise that I'm going to stop cussing because that's just me. But, like I said, I just want to be more feminine. I'm changing my style up. I really like that whole minimalistic look. That's how my house is. Like, I'm just switching it up a little bit. Even just, like, with me being, like, on a routine. Helps me, helps me be more productive. It's just more of an adult thing to do, you know? Having a routine, staying organized, being feminine, because being feminine works in your favor, ladies. Y'all don't even know. Like, feminine energy is dominant, okay? Femini feminine energy will get you what you want, all right? I promise you. But this video, this vlog really has no substance to it. <laughs> like I said, I want to go to the CB. CB2 store because, did I say CBD? Whatever, I wanna go to the CB2 store because I hate ordering stuff online, y'all. I used to be a big online shopper, but I like to see what I'm getting. I like to touch it, feel it, all that good stuff. So we are gonna go there and probably get a bite to eat. I wanna take Celine to this vegan restaurant because y'all know my baby is vegan. I took her to a vegan restaurant like a couple days ago and she loved it y'all. Like I want to start doing that type of stuff to show her like baby girl I'm going to eat your food too. Like I would become vegan one day for her if she sticks to it. <laughs> but it's so hard because I've already grew up on eating meat. It was easy to make her vegan as soon as I had her because she wasn't used to it. A lot of people be asking me like what made you want her to be vegan and it's just like y'all, y'all have to do research. Like. For some parents, it may not work for y'all to make y'all children vegan, but for me, it does because I love the benefits. Like, Selena is like one and a half and she's never been sick. My girl has never been sick. Just adding some wine curls. But yeah, y'all, I'm just all over the place. Another thing I wanted to vent about is becoming a big influencer, y'all. I'm not a big influencer yet, but it's very stressful managing. Um, it's just stressful like trying to be an influencer and run my businesses at the same time because my mind is always working. I'm always thinking of new content to post. And I'm not gonna lie, like I feel really pressured after watching content. Like whether that's on TikTok or um, Instagram, YouTube. I be feeling pressure like, okay, Jay, you need to put up new content. Like my mind 
it's just always working. Like I'm just never like at a rest. It's just, it's really harder than what y'all think, seriously. Like to be a good content creator, well for me, I have to be inspired, I have to be motivated. But sometimes when you put too much pressure on yourself, it then becomes like a little bit stressful. Like I understand this is my job. You just have to stay motivated during this y'all. It's not as easy as y'all think. Like I said, especially running a business and being a stay at home mom, it's a lot. But I was made for this. I feel like God didn't get me this far to run away from it now, you know? I'm just doing some quick curls y'all. Oh well. I just like that bed hair look. <laughs> But do y'all ever feel like, I know I'm gonna be all over the place in this video, so just keep that in mind. But like, like I said, ooh, I just burnt myself. Like I said, I be really pressured sometimes, like just overwhelmed with so many content creators, just seeing like amazing content that people put out. It's like, I'm always criticizing the, my work and it's just like so annoying like I really need to get out of that headspace so let me show y'all some jewelry that I got I'm gonna show y'all more later because I'm in a rush and that's what actually was on my way but I got this cute little gold anklet I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like on my ankle I got some rings which I'm gonna wear right now so these came like a pack of eight and I have fat fingers but this is what I'm gonna wear today. I'm gonna show you all the rest of the jewelry later. These are my two favorite, the heart and the croissant one. These are my two favorite. So have y'all been liking the beignet candle because I love it. Normally I hate fall scents, but this smells good y'all. Kia said she hated it though. <laughs> So I just got these. These smell so good. These are the trash bags. So so good. I use these to clean up after the dog when he like pees or something on the floor, and then I use the Swiffer. I got all this stuff from Target. Some these toothpaste, some gloves. I already showed y'all that. I clean everything with the Dawn Power Wash to clean my cabinets because I like them to be really shiny. This lotion smells so bomb, y'all. Some more Swiffer. I got this one because it has Febreze in it. You yeah, know, gotta stay with the wipes. And pine salt smells so good. Like, I love my whole house to like pine salt. Or fabby though, so. So, this is everything that I got from Target. Before we even get into something. Yeah. Look, she is here. Never in a million years. What I have, have, what I have. Let me tell y'all how important manifesting is. Cause you know, I gotta bring y'all to church. Give you all a little bit of words of motivation in every video because everything that I share to y'all is stuff that I have been through and I'm just sharing my journey to 
give people hope. I am a regular schmegular girl, okay? I don't hang around a whole bunch of influencers. Yes, I do have a few influencer friends that I meet up with occasionally, but everybody has their own life. So I really put this work in. I really put this work in, y'all, to get 100K subscribers. Yes, I did not get it as quick as I maybe could have, but I'm just grateful that I got it. Um, I really started taking YouTube serious back in, hmm, I wanna say maybe back in 2018. So it probably took me like, 2018, 19, 20, 20. So it probably took me like three years, almost four years kinda, sort of. No, I'm gonna just say three years, cause I did it at like the end of 2018. But y'all, I would have never thought that. And this is when I knew that manifesting is real. Let me give you all a quick little story time. I said the story time on live. But when I was pregnant with Celine, Armand had hit me up um, on Instagram and was like, hey, I see that you do YouTube. I just moved to Atlanta, blah, blah, blah. I want you to be my girlfriend and you can bring your boyfriend and we could just like do some videos together. I'm like, you noticed me? Wait, before I even get to Armand, let me tell you about India. So India, before Armand, India had comment under my YouTube video when I had pranked my boyfriend with the poop prank. She was like putting a crying face. I was like, oh my God, this is so funny, blah, blah, blah. That's not what she said, but she said it was funny. She put the crying emojis. And I was like, girl, you watch my channel. Like me and you need to do a YouTube together, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, yes, we should. So she DM'd me um, a, like a year later maybe. And she said she had watched my moving to Atlanta video. She was like, I wanted to hit you up, but you know, at the time I was pregnant, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then when we finally linked up, y'all, we just automatically clicked. And she was like, yeah, you know, I knew about you before you even knew about me probably. Like I used to follow you when you were in um, high school with your, with your uh, lip gloss business and stuff like that. And I was like, me, bitch, like not me. Yeah. So me doing a YouTube video with her, definitely helped me with my subscribers and my views like yes once I did my first video with India that gave me like a jump start and then um, Armand back to Armand he had hit me up so I'm like yeah let's do a video whatever I was like how'd you even notice me he was like yeah you know I think I seen you on like the explore page blah 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 so y'all know I love me some Queen Nigel so I had called my mom on my way to Armand and them house to meet them and I was telling my mom, I was like, oh my God, mom, like, you know, this is uh, Queen Nigel's, one of Queen Nigel's best friends. Like, I used to watch them do YouTube back in like 2017. If you know, you know, YouTube was lit. Excuse me, YouTube was lit. That was back when the pranks and just like, Queen's channel was all that back in 2017. The whole YouTube was just hilarious back in 2017. So my mom was like, oh yeah, that's so dope, Jay. Like, keep going. She was like, what if you meet Queen Nigel? I'm like, mom, why would I meet Queen Nigel? Like, I'm just going to Armand and them house, like, the hell, this is the video that we're doing. So I'm just saying, Jay, you never know. I'm like, whatever. So, we get to Armand and them house or whatever, after we do the video, nothing but good vibes, we had a great time. Mind you, me and Essie is both pregnant at this time. So, good vibes, and after that, Armand is like, yeah, do y'all wanna come with us to a party or whatever? And I was like, you sure you want us to come with y'all to a party? Like, you know, we just met y'all today, and I don't want to go to some, to nobody's birthday party. They, he like, oh, I was like, I don't want to go to nobody's birthday party. They don't know us, you know. He's like, nah, it's cool. They family. It's Queen's son birthday party. I'm like, what? Mind y'all, I just told my mom like, mom, why would I meet Queen Nigel? This is just like a break. My bad, y'all. My camera had did some weird stuff. So I'm like, yeah, like, why would I meet Queen or whatever? Like, it was just a regular day, like, you know. And at this point, Queen is like a star. Mind you, this was just back in 2020. So I'm like, Queen is a star, like, she's not gonna be there. Like, you know, I'm sure she's busy or something. Like, why would she be? She's not gonna be wanting to be around random people. So our mom, I'm like, yeah, come with us to the birthday party or whatever. I'm like, okay. I get there, bitch. Queen got like a sweatsuit on with some sweatpants. She like, hey, nice to meet you. She gave me a hug. She was like, girl, you are so pretty. Like, she was telling um, Armand and my boyfriend, she was like, y'all lucky. Y'all got some two pregnant, beautiful women. Like, a ball of fun, y'all. And from that day forward, I used to always say like, oh my God, I can't wait to meet Queen Nigel. And let me put y'all in a little secret. Y'all could call this, back where I'm from in Philly, we call it Joe. Y'all could call this Joe. But like, or hype, or whatever you wanna call it. Like, whatever you wanna call it. Dick riding, <laughs> whatever you wanna call it. But one thing about Queen Nigel, I love her. I love her. The reason why I love Queen Nigel so much is because her story, like, 
When I used to watch videos of her on that red couch and to see the woman that she is today, despite anything that she has been through, I'm all about motivation, hustle. I'm all about facts. And to see somebody change their life from that to where she is now, and to see her change her pain and her struggle into something beautiful, being unapolog unapologetically her, I love that. Queen is where she is because of who she is. When she was doing vlogs and stuff, I used to feel like that was my homegirl. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm about to go watch Queen. Like, I felt like I was with her. Like, she inspires me to do my videos how I do them. Like, how being just transparent, 100% real, being myself, like, she inspires me to do that because that's why she is where she is now because of her being herself. So, I used to always say that my mom know how important it is, that how important it was to me to meet her. To this day, y'all, I watch Queen Naja's Spotlight video. If you have not watched it, go watch it. It's basically where she's like interviewing with YouTube, just showing like where she grew up and stuff. And she announced being pregnant with um, CJ. I mean, not CJ. She announced being pregnant with Legend and stuff. And y'all, to this day, when I watch that video, I get tears in my eyes. Ask anybody, every time I watch that, I start crying. And it's not because it's only guy, it's Queen. Of course, I love her. What's wrong? But yeah, I still get teary eyed, y'all. So I'm just saying this to say, like, keep growing. When I used to see YouTubers with their little plaques in their background and stuff, I was like, how am I gonna get to 100K? So I just wanna say thank you to all my friends, like India, Armand, and Essie, um, anybody else on YouTube that I did videos with to help me grow my channel, and anybody that supports me and watches me, whether that's family, friends, even if you don't like me, you watch my videos, thank you. Without you, I would have not got this beauty here. Like, thank y'all so much. Y'all don't understand, it's only up from here. I'm trying my best to be as consistent as possible, giving y'all 100% authentic yet entertaining um, <laughs> content. Just know y'all, I tell y'all this in all my videos, I do manage being a girlfriend, as you know, a mom, a business owner, and now I'm trying to be a full-time YouTuber slash influencer. So, you know, sometimes I do need a few mental days, but I'm just overfilled with joy, y'all. I'm just sharing this with y'all to let y'all know, like, again, whatever it is that you wanna do, keep going. Sometimes we think that we could have been further at one time. Hey, I'm trying to do this video. Or sometimes we think that we could have, the scenarios could have been different, but everything is at perfect timing. As long as you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, putting that work in, God is gonna fulfill you and provide you with everything that you need to get where you need to be. And I really do feel like if you give up, it's 100%, a, it's, when you give up, there's a 100% chance that you are not gonna get what you want if you give up. Whereas though, if you try, you more so have a 50-50 chance or the possibility could be even greater. You don't know until you try. So just don't give up because giving up is settling the deal. And we ain't doing that, y'all. We ain't settling no deals. I just wanna say thank y'all again. I watched this interview with Steve Harvey. You guys gotta watch it where he was talking about he told God like he was about to give up and then his life changed dramatically. Um, if I can find the link, I'll put it in this video, but if not, just look for it. It was talking about when he had only had $35 in his pocket. But this is what I be talking about where y'all gotta really watch stuff that feed into you. Like I told y'all, sometimes I'll watch videos and it does nothing for me. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, I love to watch new outfits and stuff like that and get inspired, but nine times out of 10, I'm watching stuff that feed my soul, that make me feel good about myself. You know, I don't like, watching stuff after that where I feel like, oh, I need a bigger house. I need a newer car. I need a newer bag. I don't like feeling like that. Yes, that is a little bit motivation, but you can see that on Instagram. Yes, that could be motivational. Like, okay, you want more, you want more. But sometimes you really just gotta be grateful for what you have, use what you got to get where you want. And that's the type of shit that I like to see. I love to see people talking about that, especially people that's up here, talking about how when they were once down here, I can relate to that. So this is what I'm trying to give y'all. Um, I'm not up here, but you know, I'm a little bit right here and I'm just working my way up. So that way when I finally do get to where I want to be, y'all will have something to go back and look on and be like, yo, I remember when Jay was doing this, this, and this. I'm telling y'all, like, listen, even with my apartment, like, like I told y'all, me and my boyfriend used to ride scooters around here. Um, at nighttime, it used to be so nice. And I said, oh my God, I can't wait till we live in Midtown. And honey, he made that happen. Yes, it is expensive as hell living here. I don't even think we're gonna be living here that much longer after this year. But at least I'm able to say that we got to experience that, y'all. Um, manifestation is real, okay? 
manifestation is real but anyways i'm about to and y'all see i love my robe like one thing about me i'm gonna stay in a robe okay <laughs> I'm gonna stay in the room. So I'm about to make my drink. I'm gonna show y'all my little drink that I be drinking in the morning. It's a fly in here, like what the hell? Um, like one of them little small flies, ew. We gonna go take some pictures, we gonna go find some locations. Let's get to it. Okay, so I got this dress. Hear me out. This like turtleneck dress is long and cute. Boom. Then I'm gonna wear it with this puffer jacket, y'all. This was only $39. So cute. And I'm gonna like wear it kinda like, is this a medium? Okay, good. I'm gonna wear it like kinda like off the shoulder a little bit, so shoulder arms with this under it. And I'm thinking about wearing my black McQueens or my Alea Ezzedine heels. I think I'm saying it wrong, whatever. But they're black too, so I don't know yet. Then I got some stuff from Sephora. If you know, this is the best brush cleaner in the world, okay? It don't leave your brushes wet. Oh, it comes with the cleansing tin. I already have one. Like, girl, why would you give me this? I already have the cleansing tin. But yeah, it comes with like a little tin and you pour the stuff in there and mix your brush in there and it cleans them and they dry so quick. I love this. This is this is the best. Some replica perfume. This smells so good, y'all. This is the, damn, I can't remember it. Oh, Lazy Sunday Morning. If I wear the shoes, it's gonna like dress it down. If I wear the heels, it's gonna, you know, dress it up and make it real for them, so. I don't know. So yeah, so enough of that. I really need to go ship out these orders the mamas be cussing me out okay i'm just one person so let's like i gotta keep hustling so i can hire a team you know what i'm saying because i don't like to share my money right now but i do need to get help <laughs> the bills are due now not later she's so cute daddy, with that ponytail uh, hi daddy. she need to put her other earring in <laughs> okay guys so the location that we were gonna take pictures at, y'all, they, it's raining, so we're like, fuck it. Ashley's never been to Houston's anyway. Say hey, girl, look at Ashley, y'all. Show her your makeup. Don't be shy, Ashley, you need to start getting used to vlogging, okay? I'm gonna be shy. Okay, <laughs> so we about to take pictures at Houston's. I'm gonna wear my Celine glasses, and I'm gonna wear my heels. I didn't really wanna wear my heels, but I forgot my Yeezys. Another thing, y'all, Yeezy jumped on my couch and shit it all on the couch, y'all. So we was rushing out the house, like I'm stressed out today, but, I don't look like it. So yeah, we want to take pictures at Houston's and let's go. All right, y'all, look who's here. Hi. Kia. So I'm about to make us some drinks right now, y'all. I was sitting here talking to his head off right now. We was having girl talk, so. Yeah, that we was talk so much. <laughs> <laughs> we was having girl talk, but y'all know I be here with Celine and the dog by myself. I'm like, yes, an adult, like, I thought he peed. I'm like, yes, an adult, like, let's talk. So now I'm making us a drink. I had got some like peach wine. I'm just cutting up some peaches. I don't think this is gonna be enough, so I'm probably gonna have to get Uber Eats to get us a, uh, <laughs> some of that hot liquor. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to get Uber Eats to send us some more wine or like some hard wine because I can't go to the liquor store. They won't deliver the liquor. But enough of all that. I'm gonna make this drink, spark the hookah up, and then we're gonna do our video. So I added peaches to this, and then this is the liquor that I got from Publix. And then I'm gonna spark it with the rose. Let's see. That's gonna make it stronger. Okay. So here we go. We just got some food, y'all. Something you heard put in. She never heard of Texas Pete. Yeah, like what is this? Like, no, that's the Atlanta thing. Up oh, north, really? we eat crystal hot sauce. So I heard of that, but I don't eat that. I eat crystal Frank's is the best. Louisiana. Frank's really, Frank's. Frank's. 
Hey mamas, I am so tired. I'm about to make some shrimp tacos. Um, Y'all, I'm so tired right now. I had just got some, what you call it? The people came to deliver our groceries. I'm so excited because Celine really loves her just egg and they finally had some at Publix. So I'll make that tomorrow for her for breakfast. Right now I'm gonna make shrimp tacos. You know I got me some wine because Celine is asleep. I'm about to make me and my man some tacos. When this vlog comes out, I'm so sorry. I have not done a vlog in a while, y'all. I needed a mental week, okay, to myself. But I still been vlogging while I had this mental week. I just didn't post. I have a lot going on. I gotta edit this video, do this video tonight for this wax company. But I love you guys. I'm tired right now. Y'all know I have a lot going on. But I just wanna say thank y'all so much for sticking it through with me. And make sure y'all comment below other videos that y'all wanna see. And I will see you guys in the next video.